for StateCollege.com. I'm Laura Nichols, here today with Darnell Brady, the homecoming PR captain this year. Darnell, what has the week been like preparing for homecoming? Well, the week uh, for captains and directors and committee members has actually been very busy. Uh, there's events throughout the entire week, starting with the dance competition and also the uh, concert on Sunday, and then on Monday we have the East Hall celebration, Tuesday is past the present celebration in the Hub, and also the town show over at Eisenhower, and then Wednesday is the Best of Penn State Carnival out on Old Main Lawn, which was a blast this year as there was no rain, lots of fun, there was a field day in there for uh, uh, sororities and uh, fraternities that were competing in events, and then Thursday was the blood drive, today obviously is the parade followed by the prep rally and earlier today we had the alumni student ice cream social up at the Hint Center and then tomorrow is the tailgate competition the football game and when you have all those events and you have OPP planning and uh, PR planning to talk to the media and such there's a lot going on also keeping track of the competitors and the scores it, there, there's stuff going on throughout the week and a lot of preparation throughout the entire year to get ready for this weekend. So after all the hard work, all of the events this week, what are you looking forward to in the next 24 to 48 hours this weekend? Uh, with the entire fun of the weekend, it all just builds up to Saturday during the game. I'm, I'm really excited to see everyone just pumped up at the game, students wearing white, uh, cheering on their Nitty Lions, and just coming together alumni, students, friends, and family all coming together in one big stadium cheering together as one. That'll look really awesome. And one more question for you. For the people who don't know what the behind the scenes is like, can you give us a little glimpse into the lives of the, um, the homecoming captains, uh, you know, the year in, leading up to homecoming? Um, yeah, throughout the year, um, OPP, for instance, they, they've been planning and organizing. They do walkthroughs of events and stuff. Um, and, and then for when the events come, they wake up at 6 a.m. a lot and get ready. And then they, they work sometimes till 11 o'clock or at midnight riding around their, on their gators. Security was up at 5.30 this morning. Um, PR, we've been busy contacting uh, people, making flyers and everything, uh, blowing up balloons at 6 in the morning in the hub. Competition's been at every single event, making sure they keep track of how many people are there from different organizations and such. Um, and then alumni relations, talking to alumni, getting uh, donors and, uh, and uh, corporate relations, getting donors for food and stuff uh, for various events. They've been hard at work with that too. So throughout the year, they're talking to people, planning, organizing it, and especially the two weeks leading up, they probably get, if they get four hours of sleep, it's probably a good night's sleep for the directors. Wow. Well, we're all looking forward to the rest of this weekend. And Darnell, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the weekend. Great. For StateCollege.com, I'm Laura Nichols.